So in the previous lecture, we have learned how to design all the steel members. In this lecture, we will learn how to optimize the steel structure. See, steel, stru steel is a very expensive structural material. So we need to use it judi judicially and we need to save as much structural steel as possible in the design. So before doing that, we need to unlock this model. First of all, we need to go to section properties and frame sections. Here we need to replace 25 mm rod bracing with a box section. So we left click on add new property. We can left click here that is box, box tube section. Box are the sections having very good lateral torsional buckling strength. So we need to enter the name here that is box. 100, 106. Material is FE345. And we can enter the size here. That is the depth and the width. Flange thickness has to be 6 mm. And the final section looks like this. And left click on OK. And uh, after that, we need to change the size of this column column underscore 350 depth has to be renamed as column underscore 400 depth and we need to enter the depth as 400 here top flange width as 300 mm and bottom flange width also as 300 mm so the final section will look like this and then left click on ok after that, we need to rename this column underscore 600 depth as column underscore 750 depth. And we need to change the depth as 750. Top flange width as 350. And uh, we need to change the top flange thickness as 16 mm here. And bottom flange width also as 16 mm here. So we left click on OK and then we check column underscore middle which is made up of this plus this. So if we will see here, you will see that it has automatically changed the start section as end section. Initially it was of uh, the underscore 300 and column underscore this uh, 600 but now it has automatically changed. So after that we need to uh, uh, optimize these sections also. That is the 1200 depth here can be changed to total depth as 800 mm. That is high depth can be changed to of 800 mm. And the top flange width is 350 and top flange thickness is 16 mm. Web thickness as 8 mm and bottom flange thickness again as 16 mm. So we left click on OK here and then again member 1 underscore load depth needs to be changed to 700 mm here 700 316 web thickness can be decreased to 8 mm and this can also be changed to 300 and 16 mm so left click on OK here and after that this section is made was made up of 800 and 700 so this has automatically changed here and we can rename this section here 800 to 700 after that member 2 underscore high depth 900 we can uh, reduce the flange width that is 300 mm and we can increase the top flange thickness as 30 mm web thickness is 12 300 and 20 mm here left click on ok and after that member 2 underscore prismatic 750 to 900 basically it is now 700 to 900 and uh, after that member 3 underscore prismatic 900 to 750 it is now basically 900 to 700. So we have now tried to optimize the steel structure here. 
and uh, we need to left click on ok here save this model now we need to assign all the bracings here and all the time members here with the 100 mm box section so what we can do here is that we can go to select and we can enter properties and frame sections here pre by pressing the control key select 25 mm rod bracing and ismc 300 left click on select and then close we can go for view and uh, show selected objects only so here we can see that our selection is correct after that we select all the material members here we go to assign frame and section property we can now assign it as box of 100 106 mm after that we can go for view show all objects and uh, now we can again do the same same steps that is we again analyze the structure so that we can do the design again so i need you to notice here that now the minimum deflection here is 38 mm and that is also is in this area that is bracing area so although to reduce this we can increase the size of this bracing members here but before that we need to uh, check that whatever members we have taken and the design is safe or not So here we can see that no section is in red color that is unlike initially there are various members which were uh, that is uh, in here lying here in this range that is there the members were getting failed but now all the members are either in green or either in blue that is the all the members are safe after that uh, we can also check the bending moment diagrams to uh, go to check that we can go to display force touch diagram and frame pierce pendular link forces we can check this uh, combo of dead load plus live load plus collateral loading and then left click on apply under mom a moment uh, 3 3 so here we can see that it is showing the graph like this so this is the graph which behaves why we increase the uh, height here and why we increase the height here and then again why we increase the height here because wherever bending moment is high we need to increase the height and similarly we can check the shear also basically this shear is along this plane so that is why in the bracing it is uh, maximum and shear total is in vertical plane, vertical plane so this is like a justified uh, graph of the shear force if we want to uh, uh, check further left click here and then right click here so we can see the all the graphs that is shear graph and moment graph for this particular load combination similarly if we want to check for other load combinations we, similarly we can check check it like this so there are various options and various features that we can check uh, with this uh, particular option of design sorry display force touch diagram and frame pierce pendular link forces so after that if we want to see the support reactions also for this particular load combinations for the vertical loads only so it is showing approximately 160 166.81 kn forces reaction is coming from bottom to top here it is uh, somewhat more and if we will click on this uh, f y also So here you can see that wherever there is bracing, there is some amount of horizontal reaction here. But wherever there is no bracing, it is showing a zero. So for example, it is showing zero here and then again 6.08 kN here. Reaction will always act opposite to the load. So if we want to check the this uh, actual force here, we, again we can go to display force touch diagram and frame pierce mental link forces. Here we can select actual forces. So here you can see that in the bracing, the actual force is very less 
whereas in columns obviously the actual force is very high it is in the range of 325 kilonewton 